This foam kit is for our 1968 and 1969 A and B body models. And if you notice, our backside of our 68-9 models has a headrest cap, and that headrest cap is glued to the backside of our front seat top, and there'll be a, a fine strip of muslin material that is glued to our front seat top also, and that will help hide our seam. Now, we'll also need to glue some muslin squares or rectangles on the backside of our lower headrest area, along our sides, and along our bottom edge. And on our front seat bottom, we'll need to glue that material to our front edge, our side edges, and our back edge as well. Now, we'll need to glue that material with some spray trim adhesive found at your local auto parts store. And what that will allow us to do is to keep our foam all secure while you're installing your new seat covers. We'll first need to lay our muslin flat on table and draw out eight rectangles, approximately 10 inches by 14 inches, along with two strips about the width and length of a ruler. And we'll explain later in the video what these pieces are used for. We will next need to cut out our eight rectangles and two strips. Before gluing, we want to make sure that we have two strips and eight of the rectangles that we discussed previously. On our front seat top, we will first need to glue the headrest cap area. We generously coat both sides, the headrest cap and the base foam area and we want to glue those together creating a little pocket that we can slide our foam over the top of our seat frame. When attaching the two pieces together you want to start at one edge or one of the corners and carefully place the two edges together. You want to take your time doing this because it's real important not to leave a ridge because that ridge will be visible through your new upholstery if you're not careful lining it up. Now the lower portions of the headrest have a little tab that will need to be folded over and attached to that headrest cap area as well. We'll want to repeat the process on the opposite side. On our front seat top along the headrest cap area, the seam that we discussed earlier, the little ridge created by gluing those two pieces of foam together, will need to be covered up. We do this with the thin strip of muslin that we cut earlier. And we spray both sides, the muslin side and the foam side. And we just cover up that area along that ridge and smooth it out real nice. That way when you install your seat cover, we won't be able to see that ridge. Now we'll need to repeat the process on the lower portion of the headrest where the seams are glued together as well. You apply your muslin strips the same way you did on the headrest area cap and get it as tight as possible and make sure there are no seams visible. Now that the headrest area is complete, we need to work down on along our sides and take our muslin rectangles and glue those to the outside edges of our seat foam. After the sides are complete, along the lower edge of the headrest cap area, we need to glue another muslin rectangle 
and we'll also need one on the front side, lower edge, as well. Moving on to our front seat bottom, we want to glue our muslin rectangles on the side edges, the front edge, and the back edge. This will help secure our front seat bottom foam to our front seat bottom seat springs so our foam does not move around during our seat installations. As you can see, our muslin material is glued to our front seat top foam and our front seat bottom foam. Now, if you have any questions on preparing your foam kit, give us a call here at Legendary Auto Interiors at 1-800-363-8804 or visit our website at www.legendaryautointeriors.com. Now, if you prefer to have the professionals at Legendary Auto Interiors install your upholstery, give us a call or visit our website and we'll be glad to help you out. We hope this video has been very helpful for you. We'd like to thank all the people at Legendary Auto Interiors for making this possible. And we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. And most of all, we'd like to thank you. I'm Ron Halberter for Legendary Auto Interiors. We'll see you next time.